Hello and welcome to a PHP Basics tutorial on basic PHP syntax. In this tutorial I'm going to be discussing the basic syntax of a PHP page as well as some helpful hints and tips to follow when creating your script. So let's get started. First things first, all PHP on a page, that is PHP, um, has to be enclosed in opening and closing PHP tags. Uh, so an opening PHP tag is a less than symbol, a question mark in the letters PHP. Everything up until the closing tag, which is a question mark and the greater than symbol, will be processed as PHP. So um, everything in between this and that. This is very basic, um, should not cause any problems for any of you. Just remember, PHP is processed by PHP tags, just as other languages are processed in their own or by um, those language tags. Um, next thing to note is that every line with PHP must end with a line terminator. The line terminator for PHP is a um, semicolon, uh, which is the dot on top of a comma. Um, so this tells PHP that whatever has been on this line, it has ended, and everything after, whether it's on the same line or a new line, normally it will be written on a new line up until the next line terminator, is a new line. Um, so for instance, I will use echo as an example. I have a tutorial on, or a tutorial on echo. If you do not know what's going on here, check that out. Um, so echoing hello world and you can see that I have ended it with a semicolon or a line terminator um, this again just to restate tells PHP that this is all on one line everything after this is a new line um, so for instance if I then go down and re echo what's up um, Again, this line is terminated. This tells PHP that this is on a whole new line. So if we refresh this page, um, we get hello world, what's up? That's good. If you see if we remove this um, and we refresh the page, we get a syntax error that uh, tells us it's expecting a line terminator. Um, if we put that back in, and remove the one on the bottom you can see that we get the same output because there's nothing else for the server to process so really it does process this line as part of this line as well but since um, since there's no more to do uh, or process then there's no um, error if we were to put anything here so we'll put a third echo statement in and we'll just echo ABC if I could type ABC and we refresh the page we will get an error because there's more to process so really what the server is seeing is that and um, as that should jump out of your eye that's not proper syntax um, so yeah that's your line terminators we're going to just remove that um, the next thing, I had been saying that every line ends in a line terminator, and that's not entirely accurate. Some lines um, end with a curly bracket, and then there's a, a curly bracket further on the page, which states that after that line, do whatever is in the code block. Not every line can end like this. It's only certain language constructs. For instance, the if statement has a ends in this, and that's the example I'll be using. If you have never seen an if statement before, um, feel free to check out my video on if statements. So, we're just going to have if 1 is equal to 1, and then we're going to have this curly bracket and end it down here. As you can see, this line does not end with a semicolon like that, because what it's telling the server to do is, um, after it checks this, perform everything in here. As you can see, everything in there does require semicolons. However, this line does not because we don't want it to process that as different than that. We want it to 
um, use that as a condition to perform this and so that's why we open up a block of code um, so if we refresh you can see that we will get the two things output in here we still do need our line terminators if we remove we'll get the same error as before with um, unexpected um, echo expecting a line terminator which we'll put back in and I'll show you the errors that happen if you remove part of your curly bracket so let's say you just open it and we go back there's no closing tag so we refresh the page and PHP says unexpected end so what's happened is you've told PHP that to process everything within this and next curly bracket as a code block but there is no more curly bracket so it processes all of this as code in this bracket but you never tell it where to end and so that's where the error is being returned it's an open block of code if we end it and never start the block um, and refresh you'll see again we get a syntax error but it's an unexpected ending and that is because this has, does not have a starting um, curly bracket to match if you're using um, a text editor with syntax highlighting on it it's very easy to see when you've gone wrong with a problem like this because um, most of them will highlight the brackets in pairs as you can see if I go back and forth between these two this one becomes red when I highlight it because it corresponds these two correspond to each other same with this and that um, so that's very helpful for seeing if you've made a mistake in the um, syntax of things let's remove both of them uh, now on first glance you'll think that there are or that it's gone all right and it has there are no errors on the page what's really happening is PHP is now not processing both lines in the if statement it's processing it in this manner so it reads this it says okay if this clause is true we're going to do this and then the line ends and then this is processed totally separately so for instance if we put this we'll still get or we will no longer get hello world output but we will get this uh, for refresh just to show you you still get ABC because what's happening is it's checking if one does not equal one do this but the lines ended there because you're not telling it to do multiple things within the um, code brackets so or curly brackets rather so curly braces is always a good idea when you're using if statements or other things that uh, require uh, code blocks now the next thing to note uh, or sorry uh, beginner PHP coders often make mistakes when they are forgetting either the starting curly bracket, the ending curly bracket, or line terminators. So frequently they just get syntax errors that are like that, and uh, those are so easily avoided. So just if you're ever getting uh, parse errors or syntax errors, go through and look through your code for potential um, spaces where you forgot line terminators PHP is very helpful at telling you which lines you've forgotten them on and it's either the line above or the line below depending on or that line itself depending on um, what the error is so just watch very carefully because those are probably the two most common beginner um, errors but moving on as you can see with my echo I have used double um, quotes I can replace these double quotes with single quotes and as you can see if we refresh the page we'll get both out I don't know because that still does not equals put that back to equals um, we get both outputted the same as it was getting output before the difference between single and double quotes is single quotes process everything as straight raw data within here so if I were to put a variable and if you don't understand this you should go check out a variable tutorial I have one you should feel free to check that out I'm just going to copy it um, as you can see my highlighter has not changed variable as it would if I put it in double quotes um, this is because and like it doesn't highlight or it does highlight that but it's all black or it's all gray opposed to it changing to uh, black but um, it's because within single quotes everything is processed as raw text data so if we refresh this page you'll see that I'll get hello world with undefined or an undefined variable error but then we get ABC variable which is exactly what we've entered in here but if you see my variable tutorial you will know that 
um, that should be processed as whatever variable it is if it were defined. Um, and so that's the difference between how double quotes and single quotes process. If you are only outputting raw data, uh, use single quotes. It's processed faster by the server. If, however, you are also using variables or that sort of thing, um, you have to use double quotes because single quotes um, won't work in that manner. So we're going to remove this. And that's all for the actual syntax part of this tutorial. We have our tags, we have line terminators, um, blocks of code, and quotes, and the difference between the two. Um, but in this tutorial, I also want to talk to you about some general habits that are good to have. First one is indenting. If you see within my um, block of code, I've indented every line. If I were to have down here another one, if ABC, just going to and I'd open it and I want to echo something, I'd indent that further. Um, that is o only to help you distinguish between which uh, code is which in code blocks. Um, so it's easy to see anything on this level is within this block. Anything on this level is within this block. Whereas if you see if we delete all of these indents, the code just looks like a jumbled mess and if you're ever trying to get someone else to read through it uh, they will struggle doing so and just won't be good indenting is good however you choose to indent some people only um, use uh, a single space or something to that extent um, that's fine I personally prefer to use the tab key uh, it spaces it out nicer but even this is easier to read than when it is all flat up against um, the side of the page. Oops. Um, so indenting important. Do it. Um, so the next thing I want to talk to you about or the habit is curly brackets. As you can see, every curly bracket that I have here and here, or opening curly bracket, starts on the line that it corresponds to. Um, this right here will be processed the exact same by the server because I mean it just keeps going until it sees where the end of the line is however again when you're debugging your code when you're looking through your code it's much easier to um, look through if you start your curly bracket on the same line that your um, statement is called it's just easier again looking through it does not change the script at all I mean it reduces the number of lines that it is but uh, it's just easier to read through again, especially once you have multiple statements after statements and that sort of thing. It's just the page can become a jumbled mess. Tips like this, where like indenting and curly brackets, starting on the same line, are the are our ways to help improve that. Um, and finally, I wanted to talk to you about commenting. So. A comment, what it will do, is allow you to leave a little bit of information that's not processed by the server, um, but that tells you what a line is doing, or what a specific function is doing, or the parameters that a function is taking, if you have to look it up or whatever. And this allows you to go back through your code and read to see what you were attempting to do if you're going back in the future, or if someone else is looking through your code it allows them to help you follow the logic so there are two ways to comment in PHP the first is a single line comment which is done with two forward slashes and then everything after that on the line is processed as a comment as you can see my highlighting has made it green um, and that just makes means that it's a comment the other way to comment in a PHP is with a forward slash and an asterisk as you can see everything after that has become green. Um, that makes everything, that's a multiple line comment, and everything from there until you close it, which is an asterisk, then another forward slash is a comment. So everything in here, um, if you space down, then it still remains commenting, as you can see by the color. Um, and so these are comments are helpful for keeping your script logic organized. Just try not to over comment your script because that can get annoying. That's all for this tutorial. 
I hope that you've learned something. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other tutorials, comment on my video, uh, rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching.